Today in Capture One, we're going to learn how to get rid of his sunburn. We're going to go from this to this. And we're going to do it all inside of Capture One without going to Photoshop. Yes, you could probably do a better job if you actually went into Photoshop, but if you don't have Photoshop or are looking to be a purist, this will be a way to do it. And one of many, I'm sure. I'll put this image link down below so you can grab it. It's over on Flickr and available for Creative Commons. So if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, you can do so. Note that this method isn't just good for sunburns. It works in a lot of other situations. And again, there's probably 18 ways to do this, but this is probably the simplest way to grasp. And uh, again, another set of tools inside of Capture One that will help you in dealing with problem solving. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is create a new variant of this one so we can start over. Uh, by the way, one of the handy little tricks that I use inside of Capture One is I use the Favorites folder. If you're not familiar how this works, you can basically find any directory on your hard drive, right click, say Capture One set as favorite, and then you can link to it easily. So this is a really nice way to take any session and temporarily, uh, what do you want to call it, hijack it to use it for your methods. And I use this quite often when I make videos. In order to do this, the first thing we're going to want to do is isolate the red angry parts away from the regular skin tone. So to do that, I'm just going to go and use the background layer. I'm going to go to my color tab and I'm going to go to advanced. I didn't use the skin tone one yet. I'm going to go to advanced, click on this and then click the angry red area. So what we want to do here is create a selection inside of this that matches this area as close as possible. And I have a little bit of a strategy for that. Uh, first, you want to use this view selected color range, which will make everything else in the image monochromatic. The way this works is the least saturated colors in the middle and the most saturated colors are on the outside of the wheel. By setting it this way, for example, you're saying you want colors that are kind of medium saturation. Uh, by pulling this out, you're saying I want all the really saturated colors as well. And then you can grab this handle, you can move this around to indicate what area of the color wheel you'd like to focus on. And the smoothness is the blurriness between this red and this purple. Uh, if you pull this all the way down, it's saying a sharp line. I don't want anything that's even uh, a little bit on the other side of this line. We're going to use this for a moment uh, in order to help us with the selection. Now, the dot is the color you selected. And for what we're doing here, this dot doesn't matter. So you can move that around if you need to. Later on, that dot has another significant function, but not in this context. So what I want to do is I want to play with these two handles until I have what looks like a pretty solid selection of just the burned area. And if you notice that you can't pull down this handle anymore, it's because it dots in the way. So just move it out of the way until it does what you want it to do. So what I'm going to do is I want to move that until I have the burned area and only the burned area selected or as close to that as I can get. Now, I don't want much orange in here. And the reason is because we're going to use smoothness to kind of get a bit more of that. So with some finagling here, you can get it to this part here. And then you can use smoothness to add a little bit of that color that's kind of between the two. So this is pretty much the angry area. Now what we can do is turn off this view selected color range and now we can make any adjustments to that selection. So this is adjusting that area now. So we obviously want to play with the hue because it's too red. Uh, this is obviously more red. So what we can do is we want to get rid of some of that red and add in some of the more yellow, so we get more of a skin tone color. And then we can play with the amount of saturation, which we shouldn't have to mess with too much. I think we'll probably leave that alone. And the lightness, uh, which we can brighten a bit to help us kind of meet in the middle as to what this is going on. Realistically, I think the burned area is a bit darker just because of the way melanin and skin works, so we could lighten this a bit. Trying to meet in the middle is the strategy here. We want to try and get this color and this color to match, so we're going to adjust each one of those a little bit. Uh, so this looks good enough for what I'm doing, and we can always come back and adjust it because we are working non-destructively. Okay, so now what we want to kind of do is almost the exact opposite. We want to target this color in the middle. Uh, so what we want to do is create a new uh, filled adjustment layer because what we want to do is affect the entire image. But we're going to use the same thing. We're going to use the advanced. We're going to use this tool, and we're going to pick the color in the middle. Now, this selection is much more difficult to get because we just want this X, but we really don't want any of that other color. Uh, now, you could have done that first adjustment on another layer. We did it in the background layer, but um, ideally you'd want to do it on another adjustment layer. So same thing, I'm going to go and I'm going to use this, this top end here isn't really going to matter to me. It's this bottom one. 
I'll sort of move the dot out of the way and I'm just going to go and pull this up until I get right about what I'm looking for and I need to turn the smoothness down so we can kind of see what we're doing. I want to get it so it's barely there and then have the smoothness be kind of what affects it. So something along this line. Obviously, if I want to take the mask and remove any other distracting elements in the image, I could because remember our mask is set to the entire image at this time. So once that's set, I can go in and I can start to play with this now. Uh, the hue, we want to add a little bit of red um, to this area here. And then our saturation, we need to add some saturation. And you see how it kind of saturated the whole image. It means we've got to move this a bit. Uh, and I, I would hold down your Alt key when you do it so you get a very minor adjustments. So something like that, and then lower the brightness a little bit. So the goal is to try and blend that in there just so they look close. A bit more saturation. So something like that. And now we can use one more final adjustment. Uh, again, a filled adjustment layer with skin tone. Pick the skin tone, which is this whole area here. And now we can deal with our standard skin adjustment tool. So let's first check that what we're dealing with here. And it uh, looks like we got the whole fam damly there. So it's the whole image is adjusted. And now we can play with uh, uniformity. So we can adjust the, the uniformity, the hue uniformity, saturation uniformity, and lightness uniformity uh, until we're happy with what we see. So there we go, before and after. Given the flexibility of the tools in Capture One, we can get pretty far. I mean, that's... um. Good enough. I mean, if you're just looking at a snapshot image like this one is and trying to remove that red, that's a very passable edit. And we could also go in with dodge and burn and fix up any of these other little issues we need to, obviously. But uh, for an overall color adjustment, that's pretty simple. So just to kind of reiterate, what we did is we went and found the color that was the most offensive, the red, and we made adjustments to that in the advanced color editor here. We made another adjustment layer that was the opposite extreme, which was this uh, untanned area in the middle and kind of brought it a bit closer. So we're kind of bringing the two extremes together in the middle. And then the third layer here was just an overall skin adjustment to bring uniformity across the hue, lightness and saturation of the skin. And that's it. So if you thought this was handy, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment and I'll keep these videos coming if you guys are liking them. Everyone take care and stay safe.